At a recent talk at Miami University in Hamilton, Ohio, former Ohio governor and 2016 Republican presidential candidate John Kasich argued that solutions to America's problems need to come from the bottom up. Most politicians listen to us. And I'm going to give you a couple examples. The civil rights movement. You think that they passed those civil rights laws on their own? Martin Luther King went to see John Kennedy, and Kennedy, he left the White House and he said Kennedy didn't care. He was, he was really upset about it. What happened over time because of King and some of the people I mentioned, people began to see that we needed justice. And the pressure came from the bottom up, the marches, the gassing, the dog bitings, the jailing, it didn't square with us as free people. We wanted justice, and we demanded justice, and the politicians ultimately, after a decades-long struggle, began to pass the laws. Women's suffrage. Do you think those guys wanted to give you your power? They didn't. And you think about how long it took for women to get the right to vote. And if you were an African American, you had to wait even longer to get the right to vote because you weren't favored. And how did it happen? We demanded it from the bottom up. I'm convinced that if we hadn't had the protests on our college campuses, we would still be in Vietnam today. They'd have some reason as to why we would still be there. It got ended by the students and the adults who finally said, enough of this. And the same is going to be true about environmental awareness. And some is going to be true about guns. And let's just talk about that for a second. When I was governor, I tried to pass this law. I want you to think about this. This law said that if somebody in the workplace was a threat to fellow workers, or they were a threat to students on a college campus, that there would be a judicial proceedings, along with a, maybe the an input from law enforcement, and, that, and the gun would be taken away from somebody who was unstable, C could get it back whenever they were stabilized. That's going to become law. It's going to take a long time, and people are going to demand it. I'm getting tired of this. And it'll only happen when it comes like this. So folks, a couple things. Join a movement, start a movement, give somebody a hug, put yourself in somebody else's shoes, have a smile on your face, be patient, get out of your silo, and this is what's going to heal our country. Because the great news is we are in charge, not them. We're in charge. If we come together all across this country, and I speak all across this country, people are hungry for this. They just want to know what to do. You don't have to climb Mount Everest. You don't have to be Greta Thunberg. You don't have to do all these magnificent things. Martin Luther King said, if you can't do great things, do little things in a great way. Together, we can end the fighting and the vitriol and we can start to do the things that we want out of our government and in our communities that will allow us to have a healthier and a more together nation and neighborhood and family. To watch the rest of this program, visit our website, booktv.org, and search for John Kasich or his book's title, It's Up to Us, using the search box at the top of the page.